I'm looking at this and I'm saying, oh my goodness, this is what I live for, a scene like this. And I don't even know what he had. I'll see you probably in 45 minutes. How's that? Thanks. Bye-bye. You must be Denny. <laughs> but I was too busy looking at your car. I'll put on the uniform. So it's a tough job. Somebody's got to do it. Back to the grind. We're meeting a really interesting guy named Denny, who we heard about from several people. You got to meet Denny because he's got some cool old cars. He was planning to bring us to another building because that's where the old cars were. I said, whoa, wait a minute, what about this car? So what year is this Riviera? 63. 63, it's the first year of the Buick Riviera. 401 nail head engine. So if you're an old drag racing fan, you remember Tommy Ivo used to run nail head Buick engines in his dragsters. This was like a styling statement for General Motors. This was over the moon as far as style for an American car. How long have you had this one? I don't know, probably 15, 20 years. I don't know a long time. Does it run? <laughs> yeah. Can you start it? Man. All right, so what, what you want to sell this? Yeah. What, how much you want for it? I was 39, but I'm going to come down a little bit. So you take less, like $3,500? I don't know, I might. That seems like a pretty good deal. Yeah, I don't need it. Got too much junk. $3,500. The floors look solid. That's that's metal right there. Uh, there's an Arizona plate in the front, so this is a, an Arizona car. Let's see if I open this. Oh, she got it. Okay, so there's a new front uh, headlight cover, I guess, whatever you call it, to replace the crack one in the front. That can't be easy to find. Extra trim. <laughs> So the floor looks solid. Well, let's see what else you got. I love walking in the dark back buildings. I asked Denny, he's a Ford guy or a Chevy guy. He said, well, kind of both. So I, that stands the reason. There's a Falcon over here and a 64 Impala over here. All right, so don't tell me. That's a 51 Ford. 51 Ford, yeah. SS. Is that a 283? It was a six-owner stick in power. So that's a Falcon. It's got a black painted bumper. It's got a for sale sign on it. 260 V8. It's a two-barrel probably, right? Yeah. Two-barrel, single exhaust. Yep. Yeah, okay. Good solid car? Yeah, yeah. I painted it. It's a three-speed three, three speed on a column. You don't see many of those anymore. A lot of people never they went through life without even learning how to drive those things. It needs a headliner, bucket seats, so that's got a 260 V8. A 260 was the second of Ford small blocks. They made it came out with a 221 for just a little while, then it went to 260 and then 289s. So there's a 63 Falcon? 63, yeah. What are you asking for that? Oh, five grand. Five grand. Yeah. Yeah, I'll take it. Yeah, I'll take it. Yeah, I'll take it. Yeah, I'll take it. Well, that's a neat old car. Wow. So you got another building you said too? Yeah. Cool. Oh boy, this looks like fun. I'm looking at this and I'm saying, oh my goodness, this is what I live for. A scene like this. And I don't even know what he has. I know I'm in love with that Ranchero. You want to sell this Ranchero? Yeah. How much is that? Five grand like the other one? Oh, wait. <laughs> Thirteen, five. Runs well? This is the second Falcon we've seen today, this being a Ranchero, the other being a two-door, with a factory 260 V8, two-barrel, three on the column. I mean, look at this thing. It's got funky-looking black wire wheels, good chrome, straight body, nice paint. That is a blast. Man. What is that, 46, 47 Ford? 46, I think. 
46. I can't tell the difference. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm, I'm a lifelong Ford guy, and I don't know this yeah. one. 46, 7, 47, 48. Old's Cutlass. Old Cutlass. So you got a 40 Chevy Coupe here. 40 Chevy Coupe, five grand. Somebody needs it. Five grand. Another Riviera. So that's a 63 as well? That's 64. Uh-huh. Another 46, 47, 48 Ford Coupe. This is a 56 two-door hard top, 56 Chevy. But, you know, as they all did, they rusted out around the headlights. Uh, they were very rust-prone cars. I don't know if it's restorable. Yeah, I think it probably is. It's probably, you know, it's a, it's a two-door hard top, which is the most desirable one. And, you know, 56 is the, the year that... 56 is the Chevy that a lot of people ignore. They like 55s, they like 57s. I like 56s. So this is a uh, Bel Air two-door hardtop. It's got a three on the column. Is that restorable or is it pretty rough? Well, the floors are gone. So how much do yeah. you ask for something like that? A couple of grand. A couple well, of grand. Yeah. And here's a 56 four-door. 56 four-door. No huh. motor. No motor. Solid body? Yeah, pretty good. How are the floors in here? From Texas. This is from Texas, no kidding. So a little bit, you got some cavities there. Yeah. So this is a, uh, like a 40 Studebaker? 41 Studebaker. 41 Studebaker, straight six. Yeah. Flatheads. Does it run? Grand, How much? Couple of grand. Couple of grand. Does it run? Yeah. Rebuild motor. So two grand for a 41 Studebaker. That's too cheap, ain't it? 2,500 I'm at. How about 3,000? Okay. <laughs> so. <laughs> You know, for somebody that didn't have a lot of money and wanted a project car, yeah. does it come with all the trophies in it? <laughs> this is the most fun I've had all day. Is there another building or this is it? Oh, wow, another nice new building. Man, that's a good body. Boy, look at that body. Whoa. So what year is this panel? 41. 41 Ford. Oh, look at that. Corvette independent rear suspension with disc brakes. Well, that'd be, that's, that's a nice beginning of a street rod here. What do you ask for this truck? I don't know that. You're not gonna sell it? Okay. Oh, wow. I happen to really like Cougars. So that's a 302 Cougar here? It's not a, that's a Cobra Jet? Yeah. Wow. That is a Marty report. The guy worked for Ford. So the options has got vinyl top, cruisematic. It's got a, a traction lock differential, which is posi rear. Ram. Original tires, I had two of them had on there. Ram air induction. Back ones were Car steering, air. tilt away wheel. Swing away, yeah. Air conditioning, AM FM stereo. And see the Marty report. That's it right there. That's yep. that that proves the car is original as as you're presenting it. Yeah. Right. 428 Ram Air. Wow, look at that. Air conditioning. Air conditioning Ram Air. And you got 30,000 miles to say? It runs well? Yeah. Oh yeah. How much is this? This is not cheap. I don't know yet. What are you going to know? Huh? We're, we're trying to sell these for you. It's over 50 grand. Over 50. With the 428 and a special purpose vehicle. That's a neat, that's a nice car, boy. So you, you bought this in Oklahoma? No, this is Gatlinburg when I sold a 41 panel boogeyman. And you needed to get home, so you bought this? Yeah, I bought this. Walked down the street, had a box and a half, and got this pulled up to the park it. So that's a three on the column. It's got a 327? 302. 302, yeah. A rump rump motor. A rump rump motor, okay. So when you got it, it had a six cylinder? Yeah. Ah. Yeah, I was over to Boyne City and I blew the motor going down the hill. Mm -hmm. Plastic instruments. Yep. I was seeing how fast it's going, I blew the motor in there. 302 in it now. Huh. Did you paint this or the same paint? I did. It was like that, black roof. That's what it looked like before. That's how good a shape it was. Oh, so look at so it was white all the way across the back. See, so this was all white. You changed it to a factory paint job.
how much you asked for that one? 50,000. That's sweet. You restored this car? Yeah, had the body off. Wow. Body off, restored. So it's got three on the tree plus overdrive in high gear. I, I don't want you to tell me what this is. I'm going to figure it out, okay? What? Uh, don't tell me what this is. No, I don't care. Oh, well, here, here it is, 58 Buick. Okay. <laughs> all right. You know, that's one of the most expensive cars to ever store because of all this trim on here. Isn't that something? Wow. You bought that from a General Motors executive? Yep. Wow. Look at that. Big old nail head. Chrome, everything. Man. And look and at all the accessories. Gold. It's got the, the little lights in 14 here. 14 lights. 14 yeah. lights? 14. Are these original? No, he put them on there. Jeez. Put V nickels up there, all everywhere in the car. What's a V nickel? Well, look right up there, under that weather stripping. Take flash. Oh, right here. Is that so they wouldn't corrode? No, he was a coin collector. He had gold coins. And he had a, a, a Packard. He's in a museum somewhere. And he had gold coins in that. Gold coins. So look at this. There's a, coin collector. There's a nickel there. There's a nickel there. Isn't that something? They're all over the Jeez. top. They're all under the dash, too. Nickels? This guy had too much time. Are quarter. I think they're V nickels, aren't they? I don't know. Anyway, they're the big, the big size. Jeez, this guy had too much time. Look at the way this the door is cut in here. The windshield comes into the door. Wow. Look at all these accessories, man. What a dashboard! It looks like a spaceship dashboard. How many miles on this one? Can't be twenty-four thousand, can't be? It might have went over because he drove to Florida once. You know. Could be original. That pedal, that pedal's hardly worn. What a contemporary looking gauge set. 24,953, that could be original. Look at all, I mean, everything in here is chrome, all around the wind, windows, all this trim going across the roof. This guy bought every option you could buy on this car. You think that's original upholstery? No, he had them seat covers made when it was new in California. Oh. He had them made in California. It looked like the original seats, but the inside, underneath them are like brand new. He had them, he was a fussy guy. What See, the? John Mason. Wow, look at that. Owner. He was a GM, John Mason. How long have you had this car? How? This is another 25 years. Whatever. Could that be an original tire? That's what he had in there, in the wrappers. That's what he bought for it. Oh, okay, so it's not original. Yeah. Heck of a car. Well, Danny, thank you. This has been an amazing afternoon. We started off this morning, we couldn't find anything. We were kissing frogs and couldn't find a prince. Well, this is our prince this afternoon. We met Denny and he showed us one building, another building, another building, and another building. This, it's one of those days you'd never imagine the way it started and how it wound up. But, but today was a great barn finding day. Happy hunting.